Yes, Spot here, and welcome back to Portal Knights. Now then, I didn't expect to record right now, but you know what? I went to the map and I saw this little like purple thing. It says Orc Fortress. So I went there, and I get the description. It says the Orcs have built a fortress on this land, and there's a bloody fortress, and there's Orcs. So we're gonna sack their fortress. We're gonna kill all the little orcs in there. They're probably like way overpowered for my character, but fuck it, we're gonna bloody do it. Right after we kill this dude, because he's gonna cause some problems with his range. But dude, the orcs legitimately have a bloody fortress. Like, look at that. That's badass looking. That's a, I didn't even know that that was something that could be. Oh, also I don't have double jump anymore, so that kind of sucks because I have new armor. I've got some new armor, so I've got. My double jump ability was on my previous pants, and now my previous pants are no longer what I am wearing, because I'm wearing better armor. But dude, I want to fucking sack this fortress. That's what I want to do. Can I see what element you guys are? I wonder what element they are. But uh, I think we're actually going to switch to our flaming crossbow, simply because that will probably be the best thing that we could do. I'm going to also move this. Two, three. That way I can actually press that. Ha! You're level 16s! You're level 16s! As long as you follow me out here, I can just kite all of you out here and kill you like so. But I'm happy I'm using this! Whoa, what the fuck did he just do? I don't know what he just did. He just did something. Did you die? Thank you. Oh my god, that's bloody awesome, dude. What is that? Iron! I got iron! And gold! Whoa, I got gold! Dude, so you get like that kind of oh my god, there's a freaking giant fucking orc. I took out the weakest one in there. I took out literally the weakest one in here. Oh my god, they're bloody huge. What is your level, sir? You are a fire element and you're level 16 as well. Now you're immune because you're blocking. Don't block me. I'm happy I'm using my flaming crossbow though because my freaking other bow is broken. I don't feel like using anything like I don't feel like using the stones to repair it right now and you die and you die you're doing I'm doing 44s to you whoa Did you just launch a fucking fireball of awesomeness whoa whoa hello hi who the fuck was that was that a frost knight or something I think that might have been a frost knight I'm not sure ah no don't do anything fierce to me don't do anything fierce to me I just killed that slime in one hit well then, the slime was a catastrophe that I did not expect to take. Uh, we're gonna actually switch back to our bow here just, just for a second. Because I want to see if, can you die? I want to see if this bow is going to do any difference of any kind. Because if it does more than what my crossbow is doing, because it has like 20 more attack. You're the same thing that I was just fighting. Eh, it seems I'm doing like... Four more damage from the scenes. It's not that great. Oh. Oh. Eat this egg. Eat this roll egg and get salmonella or food poisoner or whatever it's actually called. I don't know what it's actually called, dude. Holy shit. Why did I eat a roll egg? Why is that going to help me restore life? I feel like that would hinder me. What the heck? I just got life back. There's probably a little life orb over here. Oh, now I'm doing 26s. Did you, like... Power yourself up or something? You might have powered yourself up or something. I'm thinking that you did. I'm thinking that you did. If I use this, yeah, this is doing more. So I'm definitely going to want to start using my crossbow. Because my crossbow, even though it does less damage in total, it's not broken at the moment. So it's going to do more damage, even without the added bonus of the ability going for it. So I want to switch these back. I'll uh, keep the crossbow, or the actual bow on me, but we'll switch back to the crossbow. So that way the crossbow is our main weapon that we will be using. Even though it's the same element as them, it will do more damage in total. Who do I want to fight next? There's four more of you from the Steve's. Two more big guys, and then two more small, like, patrolly dudes. I'm going to take you out. How's it going, fierce Roark? Roark? Ro -ro -ro I don't know how to say your fucking name. I have no clue how to say your name. The only thing I don't like about being in combat mode is you can't bloody jump. You literally cannot jump when you're in combat mode. Where you at? You're stuck at the trees. You're stuck at the trees. You just gonna sit there? Uh, if you're, oh, you're not just gonna sit there. Never mind. Oh, you're trying to smash my face in. 
That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to smash my bloody face in. I'm not gonna let you smash my face in. I'm gonna roll away from you like the Audiobots rolling out of this bitch. Bye bye. You're not gonna smash me. Can you bloody die? These guys got a lot of bloody life. I am definitely underpowered. I then again, I'm level 13. But I'm not using I guess I am using the best weapons that I can have at the moment, so this is what I would be fighting them with normally if I would just find them in the normal world. But I have yet to find orcs at all in the normal world. Can we break your barrel? I want to break your barrel. I broke your barrel. Sweetness. Can I break your bag? I broke your bag. Awesome. I'm going to just harvest some stuff, man. This is a freaking awesome looking fort, though, man. It just appeared out of nowhere. And apparently it's set for like an hour's time span. So I guess when the hour runs out, just there's stuff just like disappear? Is that what happens? I don't know. I I can't tell. I've never had an environmental thing, or rather an event that changes the environment like this. I've never had a structure just randomly be built like this, just out of nowhere. I, I'm curious to see when the event goes away, if the structure remains, because that would be pretty damn interesting to find out if it does. And if it does, I could go ahead and harvest all of those blocks, even though I have 200 of those kind of blocks. They're just the plain wooden blocks that I can make from trees, which is pretty damn easy to get now because I've got a gigantic bloody forest back at home. Can you die? There we go. I want all of your goodies, all of your goodies. You're giving me a lot of explosive bombs, I gotta say, and a bunch of other stuff. Oop. Okay, there we go. Now I'm moving. Now we're rolling around, but once my crossbow expires, which it seems like it's gonna expire pretty damn soon, I'm gonna need to switch back to my other bow or... Um, you're the king! You're the king! Oh, you're throwing fireballs at me! You are the king throwing fireballs at me, which means that you're probably a mage, but you've also got a sword in your hand, which is a little bit weird. You just broke your own structure. Hang on. Can I have you, like, break your own stuff? I wonder. Are you, like, launching actual bombs, and that's why you're breaking stuff? Huh. Whoa! There's a giant thing of fire! Holy balls, dude. Holy balls. What did we get? What is that? Obsidian block! Obsidian block! Recipe for blue carpet blocks. <gasps> I can make blue carpets. Oh, we'll be able to make blue carpets now. Hooray! I can go ahead and make blue carpets. I can make my house even better looking than before. I can have blue carpets. I can have a diversity. Oh, that's what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for when I leveled up um, my whatever. Hi, King Dude. How's it going? No. If I stand next to this and you throw a bomb, it did not explode it. I wonder how that actually works. I'm going to go back over here and we'll stand right here. We'll stand right here. Are you going to blow up your blocks? If you're, Are you going to blow up your blocks if I keep like standing right here and you keep throwing bombs right there? I wonder. I wonder if this works. Whoop. Hey, hey, you do blow up your own blocks. Cool. So you can blow up your own blocks for me, basically. Which is pretty damn awesome, as long as I keep getting them to hit the same exact blocks. Which kind of makes sense, because if it is an attack, like my bow. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck. Jesus Christ, where the fuck did that come from, man? Where did they even come from? Recipe for gold carpet. Oh. And a green portal shards. Dude. Balda, can I kill you? Are you gonna be another king, dude? No, you're just a berserker. You're the easier ones. So there was like two of each type of goblin in here. Can you die? Can you die? I want to explore the rest of your place. I definitely want to explore. Did you just throw something? You looked like you just threw something, but nothing came out of your hand, which was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. Can you die? Can you die? Yay! Death! Hooray! But dude. There's a hole in the floor. There's a hole in the floor right there. I got obsidian blocks, man. That's freaking awesome. Now I get to harvest all of your little things right here, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And then we're going to explore your little fort to see if there's... Ooh, hey, I got footballs. To see if there's any awesomeness of chests. There's a freaking... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. I want to... There's the chest. I see it. Okay, how do I get to that chest? I probably should break a few of their blocks and then make myself like a little stairway. Mayhaps? Mayhaps, can we make a stairway out of this stuff right here? If I had an axe, this would go down so much faster. 
I just got regular healing potions out of nowhere. Why did I get regular healing potions out of nowhere? That was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. Oh. Well. That wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but, you know. It'll. Eh. Ha! It'll work. I'll just do this. And now we're up here. How about that? Fantastic. Dude. Look at that. We got to get this chest. But I want to grab these things first because I just want to do that first. But, man. This is the coolest event I have ever seen so far. Can I break this thing? Oh! I can't. Hang on. While I'm up here, let's grab this sheer chest. What do- Oh my gosh. I got silk, iron, and an energy crystal. And now, I've got a crest of the strong arms. Can I just like- Oh my god, I can place that wherever. Holy shit, this is freaking awesome. I'm gonna harvest a shite load of stuff. Just, like, unique stuff, like the banners that they have, and their fences. I'm gonna take your fences! I'm gonna take these orcs' fences! Man, this is freaking awesome! I'm gonna be able to do a lot of stuff once I get back to my base, and just upgrade a bunch of different stuff, maybe make some new areas to my base. Dude, this was freaking awesome! And now there's a spore outbreak? Dude! Let's see what the spore outbreak is. This is probably just, like, the normal... Uh, the normal events that I've seen. That's the- that was the first event. Like, literally, the first event ever that I have seen that- yeah, these are just the normal events. So that was the first event ever that I have seen that actually changed the world a bit. Oh my gosh, what the fuck are these? What are these? What are you? No, don't move. I want to hit you with arrows. Hi. Ah, fuck. Lightning. Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lava spore. What's up? Lava spore. What are you doing to me? What are you going to do to me? What are you going to do to me? How do you attack? I don't know how you attack. You're kind of freaky. I've never seen lava spores before. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know what it does. <laughs> I don't want it to touch me, though. I definitely don't want it to touch me. No. Stay away from me. What do you drop? Coin. All you dropped was coin. Awesome. So these, like, these little events where you have to kill, like, a certain amount of enemies that just... Ah! Whoa! Poison that spawned in the area are how I got all the other trophies. Ow! Now I'm poisoned. Wow, that's some effective-ass poison. Let's go ahead and eat a raw egg again, which is apparently gonna help us somehow. Ow! Fuck, fuck, gonna die. Gonna... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, how did I not die? I could have sworn I would have died from that. Wow. Oh my god, that was a little bit terrifying, actually. Let's go ahead and eat these spores. Holy balls. Jesus Christ. So I wonder, because what I did is I mined a little bit of the stuff, but as you can see, the event is gone from the area for the first one. So, I mean, I, I left, I made myself an axe, and I used the entirety of the axe to get some blocks, but... I didn't mine everything that was there, so I have no clue as to whether or not- Can you die? You there, Mr. Elemental Dude. Can you fucking- Jesus Christ. I didn't mine all the blocks, so I'm gonna go back there in a little bit and see if the stuff is still there. I- I died! But I- I could have sworn that I just used a potion. God damn it, I died! Well then, let's change where the potion sits so I can actually get- usage out of it faster because Jesus Christ I didn't expect to freaking die hey I leveled up I leveled up all right let's kill this mana spore no what the fuck are you shooting at me what the fuck did you whoa what is that what kind of spell is that man ah no apparently the spell that killed me before because Jesus fucking Christ you guys don't drop anything except for like experience well you drop yellow portal shards but that's whatever that's just because of your level you guys don't drop, like, uh, is that magma spore? That magma spore is after me. Well, lava spore, not magma. It's after me. Is it actually gonna... What do you do? You're the only one that does not actually launch a spell at me for some reason. I don't know why that is. It's very, very weird. Usually the, like, event... The event monsters... Ah, I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. The event monsters were usually drop ah god damn it your poison is very difficult to freaking dodge there it is again bloody hell jesus christ i gotta dodge again yep there it is i gotta like anticipate it's coming now 
Usually the event monsters would drop like specialty things like the goblins dropped iron and gold apparently. Some of them did drop gold at least. But that's how I got my iron before because I have still yet- Ah! I have still yet to see where iron actually is just in the world. It's not in any of the places that I have been to yet. I haven't got to any new places between this episode and the last. But- Ow! God! Damn, so I still have yet to find any iron, but then again, I haven't looked under the ocean, really, of the new area. Is that a red one? Ooh, I could break that and have a red one. Interesting. Ah, no! Stop that! Poison! This freaking thing. Can we switch targets? I want to kill you before you freaking do more damage to me than, you wa than I want you to do, which I don't want you to do any damage to me. Where'd that... What? Oh, it's right there. I was like, where'd the poison elemental go? The poison spore. It just like up and disappeared on me for some reason. Don't do that to me. And the lava. Ow! Fuck! I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. Using the thing. Using the thing. Ha! Ah, no! No, you don't. No, you don't. I gotta get rid of this poison one first because you are gonna do way more damage to me than this lava spore will ever do. Because the lava spores have actually yet to even hit me at all, which is kind of weird. I don't know how they attack. It's very, very weird. How do you actually attack? I mean, I don't want to get hit by you just to see how you attack, but I'm very curious as to how you actually attack. Also, I still have yet to get more than 2,000 gold because I keep dying, and apparently when you have, the more gold you have, the more you lose when you die. So you probably lose a certain percentage of gold when you die. So, therefore, the more gold that you have, the more gold you will actually lose. So it's Kind of a good idea to, if you have like stuff that you want to sell, to like hold on to it and then sell it when you actually want to get the money to go and spend on things. That way you don't lose as much as you can. How are you not setting that tree on fire? Never mind. You're just flying around. I thought you were fucking sitting on a tree. I could have swore this lava spore was sitting on the tree. And a lava spore sitting on trees is kind of worrying me. It's kind of worrying me. If That just spells out forest fire all around. That's what it does. It spells out forest fire. I could have sworn it was on this tree, man. I really could have sworn it was on this tree. Uh, I don't want to fight you up there. I definitely don't want to fight spores up there. So I'm going to come down here and fight these spores. Hi. How's it going? Okay. Well then. Cool beans. I need to kill one more. Ow. Balls. One more lava spore. And then I'll be good on lava spores. And then I can just kill two more of each other spore. Except these lava spores, apparently... Don't want to leave me alone. Let's kill this mana spore. Because this mana spore is going to launch freaking balls at me of, I don't know what, mana, I guess. Hence the name mana spore. Can you? Oh my gosh. Get to where I can actually hit you. Thank you. Ah, whoa. I think the lava spore hit me. I think the lava spore finally actually did hit me. Ow. Fuck, it did. Just, whoa. Hi, spores. How's it going? How's it going? I'm just gonna have to kill a lot more spores than I fucking intended to. Is that- Okay, as long as the mana spore isn't launching stuff at me out of nowhere, I'll be perfectly fine. I just gotta stay away from these lava spores. That way, they don't get too close to me. Ouch! Like that! To be able to hit me. Fuck. I keep doing stupid things and getting cornered by these bloody bastards. Can you go over? You can't go over the thing? No? Alright, cool. Fantastic. I'm gonna grab that there health because I can. And I'm gonna try and get out of this corner before you corner me. That way I don't take extra damage from you and have to waste my bloody potions. I'll do. I'm using, I think they're regular potions rather than like minor potions. And all it is is water. Basically, to make the regular potions, all I need to do is make water and carrots. And water you can get very easily by going to the desert or by mining various things that provide water as well. And the carrots I have growing in my garden. So I've just got like an, invis an infinite supply, basically, of uh, potions. As long as I have the time to be able to make and harvest them. I'm going to check that potion. No. Stop that. I feel like being a mage would actually be way more beneficial. Simply because of the, just the diversity of spells. But at this point, I'm an archer. I'm kind of committed to being an archer at this point. Unless I make like another mage character and then just level up a shitload off camera. I want to... I want to heal myself before I fight this next one because I've taken damage every single time fighting these Spore Knights simply because that spell is very weird. It's very weird to dodge. It's like very hard to dodge once you're bloody in it. I'm dead. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's very hard to dodge. You gotta like 
preemptively anticipate the attack of it. I need to kill one more poison spore and then I'll be good. Although I guess I can kill all those other spores, but since they don't drop anything and they're just like, you know, uh, what is it? What is it? It's, ah, what is it? Experience, that's what it is. It's basically like a higher bonus of experience and maybe some yellow portal shards, although I could fight enemies to give me yellow portal shards now. Nope, not getting hit by your poison. Not getting hit by your poison. Can you? Okay, there we go. Get some more shots in and run around while it produces another poison bull. I've learned how to fight you at the very last hurdle. Although, I have noticed I'm not getting any, like, uh, trophies anymore from killing things like this. I'm not getting trophies anymore from doing like random event things like this one that I just did, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it's like I don't really need a trophy to go ahead and go fight things. It's not the purpose of fighting things. Dark Fur Seed, ah, eh, I'll take it with me. Increase my forest as we go. I'm still like growing my forest. I've actually. Is there, there's no other things going on. Sweet. All right, let's travel back to my little house. That way I can add another tree to my forest. And I'll show you, I've been adding to my forest a slight bit. I have now have trees on the opposite side of where they were before. And I'm not sure, I haven't harvested really anything, so I've got trees over here now. Not too many, but I have some. So I need a tree right there. Fantastic. Awesomeness. And I guess we'll go ahead, are these, are these roses ready to be harvested? Looks like the outer ones are. Let's go ahead and harvest some roses, dude. I got some ice roses to harvest, man. Heck yeah, growing in my garden. And I've also got potatoes now growing in my garden, so I got potatoes that I can go ahead and have. And the potatoes are used to make mana potions from the seams, if I'm not mistaken. Let's actually... I'm gonna go back in here, and if we go into this, we go into potions, strong mana potions, water, and ice rose, as well as the regular potions are potatoes. And then Avalon, uh, and then whatever the fuck those things are, I don't know what those are, but the regular potions are just carrots and water, which I've got plenty of both of those. And then the palm fruit, this is a good reason to collect the palm fruit, is to get the next health potion bonus. I could actually go ahead and make a shite load more of health potions if I really wanted to, because I've got quite a bit of carrots in my just thing, and just quite a bit of water as well, but I don't really see the point in making that at the moment. Although I will, because I like to keep as much water as I can. I like to keep 50 water on hand, but since I've got extra water, I'll go ahead and make two health potions and we'll put away these remainder of carrots. Simply because the water has more usage than just making potions to it. It's definitely got more usage than that. So let's go ahead, we'll put away some more blocks. Ooh, I'm like maxed out on those blocks there. Well then, we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Ooh, we can't throw that in there. Ooh, well then, what can we take out? I could actually, I could probably make myself another little like farm area. I could probably do that if I really wanted to. And I kind of do want to. I'm going to take that out and we'll put away that. There we go. We've got some green portal shards on us, and we are fan diddly tastic, dude. Fan diddly tastic. I wonder, should I make another farm? I don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. If I did make another farm, I would make it right here. I've definitely got enough fence, and I could definitely make enough fence to be able to do that now. But anyway, I will be leaving this episode here. We got to freaking take on a fort of goblins and kill some spores, which I didn't even know were, were an enemy that you could be in this game. Also, uh, let's go up to our room here really quick. I got a bench outside my room, and if I can figure out where my room is, not being blocked, I've got some shelves and a nightstand now, and I got this little stool now in the corner, which is just, you know, sitting there, doing nothing really. But anyway, like I said before, I will leave this episode here, so until the next episode, everybody!